Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Masterclass 3. Uh, in this class, we're going to be going over music and where to get it, how to get it, um, best formats, and everything of the two. I'm going to be providing a playlist with free songs uh, on SoundCloud, which are all different artists who release them, which is going to give us a really good starting base if you don't already have music of how to grid your stuff and how to basically do it exactly how I do with nothing in between. So first thing um, is you're going to need internet access or already have access to music. If you already have music, you can basically skip the step or know how to get music. But if you want some tips on where to find music or how to get it legally, um, I can show you that in this video. Uh, when you're first starting off, you're probably not going to get it so legally, but it's it's just kind of rule of thumb. If you get it legally, it's going to be high quality. Whereas you can normally tell when people rip stuff when they play it. And that's one of the biggest ways to tell you're a new DJ is you play rip tunes. And it's also kind of a no-go. So head over to your internet browser. We're still using the Horde Safari. And we're just going to go to SoundCloud. So this is my burner SoundCloud, uh, just where I have... It's an incredible algorithm already built up, but this is where I just have a whole bunch of random music, anywhere from metal to DNB to house to lo-fi. It's, it's a little bit of everything. So the place I'm going to be sharing for you guys is this one right here. So free download heaters under 10K. So when I added these, they all had under 10K plays. It's been a little bit, but um, as the songs gain popularity, they get more views, which I mean, is awesome for the artist itself, but I like to find gems like this one right here that has 1.8K plays total. Cause these are the songs that are gonna set you aside from everybody else for playing these when you don't actually make your own music, just finding it's the music selection and the, the weird music that people wanna know what it is in Shazam. So to get all these, what, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go through them all. And uh, all these are free download. Um, so you can hit buy. So some of them, if you're not familiar with SoundCloud, you hit buy and buy digital track, you can name your price. So this is going to add you, you can say $0 for this download to computer download. Now, um, most of these have download links, so this isn't the best idea, but, uh, if you want to add it to your band camp, some of these, uh, artists that I follow when they give out free downloads, I'll just throw them like 10 bucks and, um, it really depends on how much I'll use the music. Sometimes when I'm just sampling, I'll give it zero, but I'll throw some money later once I realize, oh, this is an artist I want to keep grabbing stuff from. So, so just start downloading stuff. So we just did that one. So one download started. <laughs> So song downloaded. Another one I want to show you before we download the rest is Bandcamp. Bandcamp has a lot of really underground releases and is really tailored toward the electronic more so DJing scene. So let's go towards, let's go electronic. And then there's a whole bunch of subgenres in the electronics. So you'll see all these, some of them are paid, some of them are free. Uh, there's a way you can sort them by free if you're just looking for some new tunes. Uh, but I'll show you some better ways if you're not exactly familiar with the track that you want. So we'll go back to SoundCloud and we'll hit the second one, which is another buy link. And so this this is a, oop, this one did, got changed to free. So we'll, we'll pass on that one for now. Um, yeah, free download. I'll show you how these work. So you go to free download and you have your sound, you have your Spotify sound, uh, you have your SoundCloud, excuse me, you have your SoundCloud signed in and you're going to see the download gate right here. So you're going to click that and you're going to enter, enter your email address. I sometimes do random stuff, but I usually just, there's my throwaway email right there. And then it connects you to SoundCloud. This is what's actually important for the artist. So it actually sends them a follow and it likes the song for them. So it gives them free traction, kind of gives them, hey, here's a free song in exchange for a download and a like. The email just adds you to an email list. I personally don't like email lists because I find all my stuff on SoundCloud, but I get why people do it. Then you just hit download. So allow. So it's going to pull you to this site called uh, hypedid.com. 
I personally don't really use it because I I feel like I'm sorting a lot more. But for example, the, all these songs are so like we can like this one. So we'll like that one and it brings you to this song. So these on all the songs on Hype Edit have free downloads. So what I did when I originally started is I went through that. So I found a song I liked and it will recommend you songs off this. And you can also go on this site. Uh, I'm going to link all these below so you don't need to memorize the actual sites. And then top 100 downloads and you'll see just like what's popular and you can sort by genre. So if you're specific on you only like house music, you can sort by or house is very generic or say you like bass house. So the 128 kind of house that's more uppity. You can find the bass house that you like here. And these are all going to be free downloads so you know it's legal to use. You know it's uh, where you got them is legit. Uh, it's just a little bit more sorting. Uh, the next one that you can use, let's see if we can find one really quick, is going to be, it's sort of the same download gate uh, where it's just a, it's a click download. So it'd be in more right here. And it would say download. But the gates, the when you just download them, it doesn't follow the artist, like and repost. See, I hit the download and it liked and repost. So you hit the download again. Same kind of deal, connect, go through the SoundCloud, download. So all the ones that are supported, uh, we're going to run through right now. So basically just download songs, grab these 2015 or 10 or however many actually download. I saw one of them went offline, but I update this playlist pretty regularly. So if there's new stuff in there, feel free to download it. Um, and if you make your own, feel free to share it too. Like some, some of these are just absolute gems like this 5k one right here, silk, uh, phenomenal artist. Uh, it's, it's just a great way to get music and kind of share around artists or underground artists while getting awesome tracks in a legal way. So I want to show this one really quick because I was telling you about the download. So it has the free download. I usually go through the gates if I can, just so I can like support, but you can go here, just download file, and it will download right to your PC or Mac, which you're all gonna end up in here if this is how you have it set up base level. So my internet connection is terrible because I'm living the poor life, but there it's gonna take a couple seconds, they're about 10 megabytes each, and I'll show you the way you'll be able to check if they're high quality, which most of them should be but sometimes they aren't. So I'll show you that in the next video. For the remainder of the episode, try to gather a few of these. We're gonna be going through a, a bunch of the tracks, so if you don't get all of them, that's fine. But try to grab a handful of these just so you have a following basis when we're gritting the songs and figuring everything out from the start. So this is just a sample. You don't have to download it. If you don't like them, you don't have to download them. All right, so I've gone through and I've downloaded a fair share of them. I think I've got 15 or 18 of them. So you have the songs here and you're gonna, see, you're gonna look, uh, so I, I have these located in downloads, depending where your downloads go. You can just search one of the song names in your finder, but mine are all in downloads. So the first thing to do is going to be uh, looking at the kind. So you have MP3 and you have waveform audio. So the waveform audios are much higher quality, but for learning purposes, I convert everything to MP3s. I have my waveforms later for references when I play shows, but MP3s, they're all for the practice. Um, they do sound differently, but in terms of playing on a basic club, uh, a lot of DJs do use MP3s because that's if you convert them in the highest quality, you can still get really good quality. So I'm going to show you how to do that with iTunes. So I hate iTunes just as much as everybody else. So we're going to clear these. So just make sure your iTunes are completely cleared. And you're going to grab where your downloads folder is. Control A it drag it into iTunes. So everything loads up into iTunes. And then you can sort, you can right click up here 
and go to, where is it? It's type. Or, no, kind, there we go, kind. So the MPEG is the same as the MP3. And then we have our wave files right here. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like before you apply this and after. So what we're essentially gonna do is we're gonna be converting these. So I use iTunes because it's clean, it works good, it works every time. Uh, you can use other ones, but iTunes just comes installed and you know, it's not sketchy software, it's just, it's iTunes. So you can't really get much with that. So it's gonna be in file convert, but you don't want the AAC version. I'm gonna show you how to change it here in a second but you do not want to convert with this. So you're going to want to be in the settings. Uh, to change this feature, what we're going to be changing is we're going to be changing the convert option, which is the create AAC version. So if you select the waves that you have, so starting from this one, hold shift, click the bottom one, file, convert, you'll see that you have the option enabled. This is not what we want. What we're going to be changing this is to be an MP3 option. So how you do this is you go to iTunes, Preferences, and then see where it says Import Settings right here. It doesn't really say it clearly. So you're gonna go to Import Settings, Import Using, MP3 Encoder, High Quality. You're gonna go Custom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to 320. So this is gonna be the maximum quality. Basically, in DJ terms, a 320 is a solid audio file. It's a properly mastered, whereas if you hear people reference 192 or 128, those are gonna be more so your YouTube or SoundCloud converted. Um, you can use VBR, but it's whatever. I usually just do the 320 and leave it on auto. Um, so I hit okay. And then details, 160 mono, 320. So you're gonna save that. Um, so it's in custom and MP3 encoder, so hit okay and then okay again. So these are still selected, but we'll just reselect for the sake of it. Select top one, second one, file, convert, and see how it says create MP3 version now? Click that. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna convert everything to an MP3 that wasn't already. It's gonna make it a new file in here. So essentially it's creating the same file. So like Nero crush on you, um, so rhythm section coming on, and you see we in we have an MP3 file, which is rhythm section coming on, and we also have the wave. So I always save my waves, but for the sake of this video, we're not gonna be saving the waves. We're just gonna be clearing them from iTunes and using the direct MP3s. So you don't get confused with two different versions of the same song, which essentially won't make any sound difference to you when you're playing them through your computer speakers. So we'll let this finish out here. Shouldn't take too long. So you hear that beep, that's iTunes being done. And then you can just clear these WAV files. So you still have all your original files and downloads and you have your iTunes files. The iTunes ones, this is the step that could possibly confuse people. So on your desktop, go to new folder. And then what I always do, I always name it the date. So 2-1-2020. Um, ready or just name it something. And you're gonna open up that folder right here. And the coolest trick with iTunes that a lot of people don't know is you can uh, command A or select all or hold the bottom, shift, top, and it will select all your stuff. These are all MP3s. And you can drag and drop them into your new folder. So these are all in here. You can sort by list. And as you can see the difference, these are all MP3 audio files, as some of these are waves and some of these are MP3s. So now that we have all of our MP3s in the same location, we can clear out iTunes. I always like to clear iTunes just to make sure nothing gets caught up or funny. So we'll delete the songs. You can move to trash because that's gonna be your converted files. And you already have a copy saved here. It's not the actual file, it's a copy. So this won't get affected. So now that we have our songs in here and our record box, the main reason we got another drive is you open your other drive and remember that music file we made? So we're gonna open the music file. We're gonna take these, control A, 
copy them, drag them into the music folder. So this is going to be the process when you're importing music all the time. I usually don't import music when I have under 20, 30 songs, unless it's a, a set or a show or something. But this is how you're going to do it. So now if you close out of here, you close out of your 2-1-2020. After you make sure your music's on your hard drive or wherever it's stored, you can take this and delete it. So I always delete it before I bring it into Rekordbox just so I know I'm not bringing in the wrong files because that's going to be annoying later. So now that we have all these full, uh, all these files in here, you can sort by date modified, but since we just have the new ones that we, we got and it started fresh, we can open up our record box again. And this is where you're going to be importing them from. So everything, including your library, so the database we made for record box is in here in your Pioneer, and then the music that we just downloaded is in your music. So it keeps everything on the same drive. So if you do need to do a computer reset or something goes funky or your hard drive on your computer crashes, everything on Rekordbox is gonna be there for you. And I run uh, backups routinely on my, on my drive. I run them like every month, just in case one of my Rekordbox drives goes down, I don't lose much. So now that we have music on here, you're gonna go navigate to the, the folder of Rekordbox, music, and you're gonna select everything with Rekordbox pulled open. So you're gonna to wanna to be in this collection tab here, as you can see it's highlighted, drag and drop. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna pull up uh, analysis settings. So BPM range 70 to 180, that's fine. Uh, I, would, I would use that and then key, and then you don't, I don't really do phrase. Um, and then if you want it to be done again, you can, if not, whatever. Um, I usually just don't ask me again because it's 70 to 180 and if you need to correct it, you can correct it later, what I'll show you. So just hit okay. And the tracks are gonna start to analyze, which you'll see right here. This is all done based on your computer power. Um, here, it doesn't matter, ignore that. Um, to ignore that again. So your files are loading just as what we deleted earlier, what was in the previous collection. And these are all tracks that are essentially loaded into record box, ready to be gridded and ready to be analyzed. And those will come in future episodes. Thank you guys. I will see you on the fourth class where we're going to be going over actually dealing with how to do these tracks and the finite details in here. But thank you for sticking me through that, and if you have any questions about downloading music or where to find music, uh, please ask me because I've. That's what I do most of my day is look for music and find music, just because it's, it's so much fun when you figure it out. But I will see you guys in class four.